Breaking news tonight, a CBS4 investigation finds an embarrassing security breach at the Jefferson County Jail. First on 4, an inmate actually gets hold of a smartphone and live streams from his cell. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss has the video. Sounds like we've already had serious repercussions. Well, this has spawned a criminal investigation already. Trying to determine how an inmate got a smartphone into his jail cell, Ben went live on the web. I'm in mother Jeff Co. See? Jefferson County. This was last night. Sierra, write me. You better write me. DOC number 177165. I'm at Sterling. Just look up Sterling. Jefferson County jail inmate Joseph Chavez live streaming on Facebook from his supposedly secure jail cell. Live on Facebook. Where they do that at? During his profanity laced minute and a half broadcast, the 22 year old inmate flashes a lighter and a cigarette, more contraband, forbidden in this jail. He also shows off jail areas outside his cell. Jeff Co. There's the pod. And he Facebook lived himself from our, from our jail cell and put it on his Facebook page. Jenny Fulton with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department says Chavez was strip searched when he came into the jail yesterday from the Department of Corrections. But she says he got access during the booking process to another inmate's property bag, stole the phone and other contraband, and smuggled it into his cell. We're more concerned about uh, how this possibly happened and what we can do to prevent it from happening in the future. So when I get out, I'm always like, yep, I got this on my in Facebook, I, yep, I did that. Jeffco only learned of the live stream when members of the public saw it and contacted them. They searched Chavez's cell, finding the phone and lighter. To my knowledge, nothing like this has happened previously here at the Jefferson County Detention Facility. Chavez is in this jail awaiting a court appearance Monday. He could now face new contraband and theft charges, suggesting he may want to modify his last jail cell boast. I'll be back on the block in like three years, tramp years. Chavez does have a lengthy criminal record and is in the midst of doing, doing prison time in the Colorado Department of Corrections. Jefferson County told us that when they figure out exactly what he did and how he did it, they'll implement some new policies to try to prevent this from happening again. All right. Thanks, Brian.